I attended Ferality, one of the largest conventions in VR, and this time, a few people seemed to recognize me. How's the Wampa boy? Do you know the bird with the thing? Oh, hell no. I was like obsessed with your with your meme for like a month straight. Especially the Whopper. <laughs> you got that damn Burger King song stuck in my head for a month. I made this goofy Whopper video a few months ago, and now every furry I meet seems to love or hate it. I don't want to dwell on an old meme, but people sure did recognize me for it. I still did a ton of cool stuff this virality, like visiting the 24-7 dance club, streaming shenanigans with friends, and meeting a lot of new people. So keep watching to see what's in store. Let's go somewhere where the music will drown out any more annoying memes. What you got in that flask <laughs> there, Mister? Um. Water? Thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you gotta stay hydrated. We are in a volcano. Yeah, true. It's very hot in here. Yeah, just be careful now, okay? Otters are pretty small. It doesn't take much to uh, get them a bit tipsy. True. As a lightweight, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh my, look at this. Are these part of the merch pack? No, these are custom. <laughs> Those are so cool, though. That's such a good idea. Bounce to them as well. Also. Yes. Oh, you got the shield! Oh, paraglider! That's what it is. That's perfect for uh, the zip lines. Or that. Look at you go. A little dangerous, though, over lava for a plushie to be flying, don't you think? Uh, I'm sure it's fine. I have enough stamina. See, you can't fly! I was testing with the light. Oh, wait, what? We can get down here. <laughs> of course, instead of actually dancing, we all found this glitch patch in the lava and decided to sit there for an hour. But seriously, the club world was amazing this year. Shout out to everyone who DJ'd. Moving on, I had two goals this virality. First, socialize and talk to as many people as possible in meetups and other events. And two, live stream for the first time in like 10 months. Speaking of which, you should totally go follow my Twitch. Link in description. And welcome. Check out the virality outfit. New shirt. I put some patterns on it in accordance with the virality theming, but also kind of put my twist on it. But yeah, I'm actually interested in checking out the dealers then and potentially meeting up with a friend. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get in. We'll see how full the lobbies are. I'm just honestly kind of overwhelmed with how much uh, variety there is nowadays. Uh, because you think back, even before I started VR chat, there was only a few furry bases out there. And now it's like completely exploded. Hello. Hello, we have a we have a happy ferality. How you do, fellow streamer? Are all foxes supposed to carry uh, knives in case they like I don't know, need to yes. <laughs> hunt a bird? No, no stab. No, no stab, no stab. I'm normally not a doggo, but I I just decided to be because because you fit in. <laughs> but there is an effect in VR chat. When you're around avatars, you're more likely to switch in to that avatar to fit in with the rest of the people around you. So for yeah. example, if you're oh, out a bunch that, of otters, that feeling, yeah. it's like, it feels yes. better to like switch into your people otter avatar. Yeah. There, there's that sense I don't of know what to call it. That, that solidarity is a good word. Solidarity. But there, we should make a specific oh, VR chat term for it. Well, are we doing this? Oh my gosh, I'm so much yes, smaller. Yes. This is my original That's avatar really that I started streaming with. During the last Ferality Festival, the avatar showcase world was taken down after the event was over. I thought this was a bit of a shame and mentioned it in my last Ferality video. This year, the dealer's den has been made public after Ferality, so anyone can come in and explore and check out some of the new avatars and art that are on Showcase. I don't know if my video had anything to do with it, but thank you, Ferality team. I ended up just talking to a lot of people in the dealer's den, exploring some of the new avatars, and overall just having a chill stream. I even met a newer furry who was brought to the fandom with VR. Aren't you the person that made the videos of like the furry VR, uh, the different models? Like, yes, uh, I am. But mm -hmm. like, I'm still relatively new to the whole community. I only officially joined the furry community in like October, November last year. I first stuck with like all the Rexes and stuff. And then I moved on to Nord, like I found Nardos and Wicker Beast, and I just kind of love. The first day, I actually like went into a furry avatar of a friend of mine. I went into a Rex avatar, and I looked at my hands, and I saw the paw pad slash beans, and my brain freaked the fuck out. No, my brain freaked out because I was hiding and repressing the fact that I was a furry for years. 
and then I was finally showing it. That's why I freaked out. But my, I was just trying to think, okay, why was I freaking out so much? And then I just, it just clicked. And like looking back at like all the decisions I made during gaming and such, and like watching movies, it was always my favorite characters were the ones of animal features every single time. I met a lot of cool people in the dealer's den. But of course, if you're looking to hang out with people, there's no better place to go than the meetups. And this is the ring. Hey, oh, yeah. Gamer! I'm standing up. Look What's at you. up, dude? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> are I pretty? Call me pretty! Oh you are pretty! You're so pretty. Thank you. I really love your best boy. It looks so cool. Oh, thank you! <laughs> I love you. the, like, hand art guards and the glasses. It's nice. Yeah, thank you. I recently- I literally got this all ready for- for Elodie. Hey, you. Got to issue a permit for littering right here. I'm sorry. There you go, I'll just, uh, slap. <laughs> 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 you can't just throw your toast around, man. I can. Bye. Proto beans. I don't think that's how you're supposed to consume that. Don't do it. Now, Ferality is a paid event, so luckily there wasn't as many trolls, but I went to the streamer, content creator, and TikTok meetups, so of course you can bet there's attention seekers. So even though you're gonna meet a lot of cool people, just be on your guard. Unfortunately this year, I wasn't able to attend many performances or panels, so I can't really make recommendations. Many of the same performers from the festival returned this year though, along with some new ones, which is good to see. Most of the other panels were more informative, such as advice for world building, avatar creation, and stuff like that. What I did have the chance to do was attend the premiere of the Ferality Community Showcase, a one and a half hour long compilation of VRChat videos submitted to Ferality and curated by the staff. I acted in two of these entries, Otterdemic by Lycan Otter and Have You Read a Good Book by Blue Canary Gallery. I really want to make my own entry for next time, so feel free to bother me in the comments when the next showcase is announced. Unfortunately, just as quickly as Ferality began, it came to an end. But there was still one more event to go to. There was the fireworks show. What's interesting about the Ferality fireworks show is that it's actually a very soothing and gentle experience. They have a more magical vibe than traditional explosions and loud noises. This makes them quite accessible to those who may not be comfortable with real fireworks. They're like dog-friendly fireworks. Oh, wait a second. And I think that just about wraps up my experience with Ferality this year. Thank you to all the staff and volunteers at the convention, thank you to everyone who came to the live stream, and thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more about the performance side of Ferality, check out this video I made on Ferality Luma Festival.